What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shane Rowe. Guys, grab a Yardie's coffee, hit that like button and that subscribe button for me. Thank you very much. And let's get caffeinated. Guys, we're back at it again in episode six of the top Yardies around the globe. And we're going to dive right into it. But before we do that, I want to say every time I do this series, it makes me even more confident that Jamaica can and should be dominating, at least within the Caribbean, as well as the top teams. We have too many players around the globe that plays their ball and, and doing very well to not have a, a collective strong unit. So we're going to jump right into it. And Mr. Sh Mr. Shamar Nicholson gets back on the list. I know he's not currently in the team, but considering that he's not uh, out of the team, it's just they've decided that his form needs to be a little bit better. We got to keep highlighting him, especially as a striker, because we need goals, right? So Shamar Nicholson comes in at number five. Uh, he plays striker for Sparta Moscow. And he played in a 2-0 win over, comment down below how badly I butchered this name, but Nitseni Novgrad. I think that's what I said, or it's just supposed to sound like. Anyways, he had a 7.3 overall rating, and he only played for 26 minutes. So 26 minutes, striker, uh, overall rating of 7.3. That's a good day in the office. One goal, one shot. So... Purpose, on your purpose. No pr no playing around. I got 26 minutes. I'm scoring a goal. That boy is good. 17% uh, passing. He wasn't worried too much about passing that day. 100% shooting, as we said. Um, 10 touches, one inside the box. 100% long balls. Now, I know this is only like one or two long balls, but listen. Anytime you can get long balls in there, you can counterattack teams. Right, So we need to get those things sharp. We need to get our midfielders and defenders good at those, those long balls and so we can feed these strikers. So one recovery, five duels, 100% ground duel, and 50% of his aerial duels he won. And he was fouled one time. So for the 26 minutes, Mr. Shamar he did very well coming in at number five. Keep it up, and I hope you get back in the team because... As many strikers as we can get in form, I'll take them. Now, coming in at number four, Mr. Tyreek McGee. And I'm not surprised at all. In fact, I want to apologize because he should have been on the list last week, but totally slipped my mind. Somebody reminded me about Tyreek McGee, so I had to go look into it this week. And, and of course, he made the list. Um, he plays attacking midfielder for the Colorado Springs switchbacks. And they had a 1-0 win over Sacramento. He played for 79 minutes. And he came out with his overall 7.3 rating. 92% passing. Three chances created. 38 touches. Three in the final. Three, three inside the box. And 67% of his dribbling he completed. Guys, Tyree McGee is... I think he could be that X factor that we really miss him inside that midfield. So comment down below, what do you think about Tyree McGee, especially in that Nicaragua game? Again, there was this chemistry between uh, him and Reed bouncing in, bouncing in and out of that camp position. So good to see him keeping up the form. Um, where were we at? Where were we at? Yeah. Four, in, four touches inside the final third. 100% long ball. Again, once we can connect the midfield and the front side, we're going to be good, guys. Two corners. I'm not sure that he won them or he took them. So comment down below. But either way, as a cam, I like Tyreek McGee, man. He's, he's, he's that missing link. Three. Uh, he got disposed of three times. But listen... You got you to gotta crack some eggs to make an omelet, right? So 100% tackles, three defensive actions with seven recoveries, 13 duels, 45% of his ground duels won, and he contested two of his aerial duels, unfortunately not winning any of them. But he was fouled twice, and he committed two fouls. So Tyree McGee, keep it up. 
I really want to see him back inside the, the national team setup. So I'm glad that his form is matching what we really think about him, right? So coming in at number four, Tyreek McGee, and we move on to number three. Number three is Mr. Joe Latte, and he plays center back for Coventry City. Now, guys, Joe is always in between the midfield and the center back rows, which is good for us. We got cover. Now, we do have other guys in, in the center back area. We know them, King, Low, Pinock, and as you're going to see coming up on this list, but there, there's more center backs. But it's always good when players can diversify their role and apparently still play very well. So Mr. Lati comes in at number three. He played center back for Coventry City in a 3-2 win over Luton Town. And he finished the game as well with a 7.3 rated. This week is pretty tight, guys. A lot of the guys, he was just nudging each other out. Uh, 90 minutes he played and 87% passing, 76 touches and one inside the box. And four, and four in the final third. He had 14% long balls, which we gotta we gotta get better at. But 100% tackles, two interceptions, four defensive actions with three recoveries. He, he contested six duels with 100% of his ground duels won, and 67% of his aerial duels. So, guys, congratulations to Lati. He's made the list before. Um, again, we want to see the form keeping up. Right now, we got attacking midfielders, center backs, and, and, and strikers. So it's always good when the different positions are mixing it up. I don't think we have a goalkeeper this week, but that's okay, right? Now, coming in at number two, Mr. Ronaldo Cephas. And Ronaldo Cephas plays left wing for another name I might just butcher completely, Ankara, Go Ankara Guchu. And they had a 4 2 win over. Yeah, not even going to try that one. Anyways, he finished the game with a 7.5 overall rating. He only played 24 minutes, but as a 7.5 overall rating, one goal, three shots, 100% passing, 100% shooting, 12 touches, five inside the box, and 100% dribbling. And five total duels contested, with 50% of his ground duels, he won. Now, guys, Cephas, when he came on in the Honduras game at home, between him and Dixon, there was a massive difference. So either if they're coming off the bench or, bench or if they're starting, I'm, I really like his energy and how he contributes to the team. Either if you come, if you got to start or you're coming off the bench, you got to still perform, man. And... It's good to see him come in at number, number two this week. Um, he's always been in and around the mix as well, too. So, Cephas, keep up that form. And like I said, you see his qualities when he came on in that Honduras game, um, in the last game that we played. Now, before we get to number one, I want to give a shout-out to Mikel Antonio for coming in right just above the, the mark. Um, and again... As a striker, it's good to see that he's in form. I don't believe he scored that game, but keeping up your form and, and keeping close to the top of the rest of the guys, it, it, it puts us in good standing for when we have the, the international breaks. So, Antonio, keep it up. Uh, coming in at number one for this week is Deshaun Bernard. He plays center back for Sheffield United and they had a 2-1 win over Portsmouth. Now, he had a 7.9 overall rating because they had a busy game. He played 90 minutes, 78% of his passing, 91 touches, 6 passes in the final third, 33% long balls. We have to improve on long balls. 6 blocks Sorry, two blocks, six clearances, four headed clearances with two interceptions, 14 defensive actions, and two recoveries. He had 12 duels won, 80% ground duels won, 80% of his aerial duels won, 
a total of 15 dues in total, and one foul committed, and he was also fouled once. So, Mr. Bernard, congratulations. You look like you were the rock, keeping that game from going to a 2-2 draw, or you might have even lost it with between the the interceptions and the, the, the all the dues and recoveries. So, congratulations to Bernard. Congratulations for all the guys making the list this week. There was... A couple of surprise. I listen. Nicholson, I think, still needs to definitely be in and around the mix. So I want to keep tabs on all our possible strikers that we can we can call upon. Hopefully, by then we get some news on some other recruitment that the manager has been doing. But we do have a very very good squad, guys. Without any recruitment, just the performance that that these guys have been putting on every week around the globe from the middle east to the uk to jamaica congratulations to all of you guys keep up the form and we'll see you on the next one all right like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and god bless you peace